Greetings folks. This video is going to be about the little uh, MUD LED version 2 from MUD Dart RC. You'll have to excuse my um, makeshift studio. Uh, I'm still in between houses. This is in my mother's garage. Uh, it's the best I can do. Uh, bit of traffic noise outside. Not perfect lighting, but uh, this is the best I've got for the moment. Okay, the MUD LED version 2. I have reviewed the version 1 about 10 months ago. Um, it is basically a, a Wi-Fi setup, a PWM controlled LED controller. It can control multicolor LED strips, uh, 5 volt or 12 volt versions. Uh, the difference with the version 2 is that we can control four strips at the same time. Uh, we have much better connections. Uh, sort of pin uh, comes with pins or without pins, your choice. We have a push button to get it into Wi-Fi mode rather than having to use a little jumper in the version 1. There's a QR code on the board itself which takes you to the setup guide which is also on the uh, muddart.nz website. So, okay, let's have a look, closer look at what's actually on the board. So you can see here we have the guide uh, QR code on the board there. Uh, we have a little button here to take you to Wi-Fi mode. We have LED1, LED2, LED3, LED4, and then we have the PWM input there and the power input for the LEDs. Uh, now if you're using 12 volt LEDs, which is what these ones are, you need to power the LEDs separately from the board. Uh, the board gets the power from the uh, PWM cable there and 5 volts, so I've got a little 5 volt battery here that I can power the PWM side of it and I've got a little servo tester here which will provide the PWM signal, so let's plug that in. LED strips plug into 1234 of course. LED3 and LED4 Now the power for the LEDs, if you're using 12 volts, comes in through the, the power input there uh, and the power for the board goes into the PWM via the uh, receiver or ESC or 5 volt battery and servo tester in my case. Uh, now if you're using 5 volt LEDs you can power the whole thing, the board and the LEDs via 5 volts by bridging these little pads here uh, and that converts it to all 5 volts so then the power comes in through the power line there and you don't power it uh, from the receiver or the um, P PWM signal generator. Alright so that's all connected up now, that's much easier than the previous board where you had to actually solder, solder onto pads. Alright so now we'll connect up some power, so this is 5 volts powering the board and we get the red LED on the board itself Ah, so now first off I'll arrange it so that we can see what's going on. Get my snake of wires all set up. Alright, so I've already set up some programming, uh, so I'll, I'll show you how that all works. To start off with then we'll show how we do it. So at the moment I, ha I have uh, three different PWM zones set up, so that's basically a three position switch. I can select three different LED patterns and there's another pattern there that'll be uh, zone 2 or the middle switch position and another one on uh, position 3. So now what I'll show you is uh, how we get it into programming mode or uh, Wi-Fi mode so then we can uh, program in all these different sequences. So we push the Wi-Fi button get the blue light flashing like that, so that is now in programming mode or Wi-Fi mode. Now what we do is we connect to the MUD LED Wi-Fi. There it is there, we'll connect to that. And then now if you open a browser it, it may automatically take you to this setup page or you type in that uh, 192 0.168.4.1 uh, 
and you'll get to the, the setup page. So what we can do now is uh, so this first page you can see we have three uh, zones or three PWM PWM inputs uh, and at the moment I have that three uh, you can see I'm twiddling the servo tester and you can see the the range showing up as uh, which PWM input zone it's in zone one two three and four oh, sorry zone zone one two and three and you can set up different patterns for each of those zones you can actually add more modes uh, so seven go up to eight different zones so different switch positions different uh, uh, sectors on a, on a pot or something like that so but basically you've got eight switch positions to play with but uh, at the moment we'll stick to three and then we can edit each of these different zones so for zone one uh, I have yeah, the comet effect uh, and you can choose the color and the, and the brightness as well You can choose which LEDs it's it's referring to, uh, strip one, strip two, strip three, strip four. So you can do do them all separately, addressing whichever LEDs you want to address on on each different uh, strip there. So that's just zone one, zone two. You can set up a you know for different uh, effect for different segments of LEDs. The uh, the possibilities are just endless. This really just up to your imagination about how many different effects. Uh, you want to play with uh, and have a look at my previous video that sort of shows more of the options that uh, are, are possible with this sort of amazing setup and we have 16 different zones so we can have 16 different uh, patterns over uh, for each different switch position I suppose so just ridiculous amounts of uh, variation uh, and because it's a PWM input, you can use whatever PWM input uh, to select different modes. And I showed in the previous video how you can use a, a Vario to uh, show sync and lift on a glider if you want to, uh, or even uh, left and right aileron movements, um, just using the PWM output or the logical switches on your, on your, your radio. Of course, you can use PWM outputs on a flight control board as well. So that's a pretty cool piece of kit and it has been nicely improved with easier connections, uh, easier to get into Wi-Fi mode, to into programming mode, uh, and being able to operate four separate strips as well. It's uh, very nice, a lot of fun to play with. So that's the MUD LED version 2 LED controller by MUDDART RC from New Zealand. I'll put links to all of these things below so you can go and have a look at uh, the guide for yourself and uh, check out what's available at uh, mud.ic. Thanks for watching.